welcome everybody to Paper Mario 3D Land. God, I love this theme song. It's a nice theme song. <laughs> welcome everybody to a fan game called Paper Mario 3D Land built by DJ Coco. I don't frame skip. Let's just get right to the game. Okie um, Okay, technically it already had a slight save file made by me, so I'm just gonna. I didn't do. I didn't do a whole lot though. So let me just hit the new game. So yeah, uh, th there's a there's a toad house here, number one. So you're already wondering what the heck is going on here. This is a surprisingly competent uh, Mario fan game that basically takes. Uh, die, 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 die. Okay, I can't kill you today. You got lucky. Mario, this time. I only asked for two lumps. <laughs> this basically takes, um, this basically takes, um, Super Mario 3D Land, or even Super Mario 3D World to an extent, and takes that form of gameplay, and gives it Paper Mario aesthetic. Which is nice. Nice! Yep. So you have this whole thing, uh, notice here though, you have, you have to be careful, not all enemies are one, no enemies are one who kills basically anymore, because they run off the same health that they had in the Paper Mario games. Yeah. As in a way, you, this is pretty much a... up there. I was about, to, Yeah. I was about to say, this is essentially a 3D ver variation of, um, Super Paper Mario, except it, instead of the 3D aspect just being in a freaking straight, straight road, here it's more like you're seeing it from a, from a 2.5D, uh, point of view. That's good. Um, yeah, so, other than that is pretty much what you come to expect from Mario game. You have your coins, it gives you one-ups. Um, uh, there is a one-up system, as you see down there. Uh, you do have health in case you take damage, so you are not also one to kill, but it is... Once you take damage, you do lose your power up. Yep. Also, I forget what I forget where in Thousand Year Door this song plays, but it's another one of my favorites. Uh, pedal metal, pedal meadows. Yeah, I was about okay. to say yes. Yeah, yeah I should say unfortunately. So I should say unfortunately, none of the music is original. But to be fair, I still like the Thousand Year Door soundtrack. What I just picked up there is something unique to this game. One of uh, actually a number of unique power ups to its game's credit. This is a power up mushroom that deals double damage when I hit things. Are you sure that's a, Are you sure that's a mushroom? That looks more like a cupcake. That was a yeah, like I can't see the resemblance. It's a power anyway. cupcake. Also, that red thing. That's a checkpoint. I was stupid it's and didn't blue. know that I was a, that was a check. I didn't know that was a checkpoint at first, and I forgot how to go down pipes. So oh no! I don't know how to do it. Okay. I don't think I can go down this pipe or at all. So, yeah, it's just like in the original game, some pipes just aren't, just aren't, um, passable. Yeah, I was just trying all the buttons here, I was like, nope, I guess I can't go down that pipe. Nope, that's start, okay. Uh, frame skip, I think, is just more for performance issues. It runs at a pretty smooth 60 frames per second. Yeah, it and does. Except for my um, computer, which I guess I should probably go ahead and disclose that little bit of interesting, um, trivia. I was originally going to be the one to record this, it was actually going to be one of two fan games I was going to record... Um, lately. One of them is Toadette Strikes, which we did try, but we ended up scrapping because that turned out to be an absolute train wreck. Oh, that's a def oh, by the way, that's a that's a defense mushroom, which reduces my my damage by half. Or damage dealt to me, anyway. Sorry, Steve, anyway. But yeah, um, this is the other fan game I was gonna play. However, I couldn't quite get to... It would run, but it would be really slow on my end, and I figured James didn't want that, so I just handed it off to Logan to do it in my place. Which is fine, which is fine. This is still, I, I'm still glad, I never heard of this game until you even mentioned it to me. I'm glad you at least mentioned it to me because I'm enjoying this. It's a, I, um, I have tried it for myself. It's a pretty, it's a pretty good fan game. The only down problem I have with it is that I, even though it does follow that Paper Mario um, tradition that the enemies have more than just one, can sustain more than one hit, I think in a game like this is kind of a detriment. In some cases, I, anyway. Like, there are some enemies I think it's appropriate for, for, <laughs> oops. You pressed the wrong button. Anyway, I know I forgot to hit the shell. Right there. Hang but, on, let yeah, me... like for like yeah, for, for like for for the more tougher I enemies, I can understand it. But for say uh, for more of the smaller fry like Goombas or Koopas, I feel it's a gaming a big gaming no no. It, it it does catch you off guard the first time you're like Goomba. Wait, you're not that. Wait, you're not supposed to be this tough. But other than that, I mean, I still think it did a decent enough job. I, I, I'm I assuming these are all stolen assets from the games as well. But Yeah, the, the sprites again, are obviously Paper Mario, and, uh, well, well, actually, the 3D aspects of it do look original enough. Well, yeah, I don't like, remember I mean, seeing this stuff uh, in, like, say, uh, 3D Land or, uh, well, okay, 3D Land to an extent. They, they, it was inspired by it, but I don't think they ripped it straight from that. How the coins are cardboard, that's cool to me. Like, oh, yeah, I think, I think that, I think that aspect was ripped from, uh, Sticker Star and, uh, yeah, Sticker Star, because actually Color Splash didn't, wasn't out by this point. 
Got it. Okay. So then, um, other than that, as you've noticed, I've been collecting green stars. Those are basically the star coins or whatever. Or, you know, green stars from 3D World, anyway. And let's go into the next level. Swinging sewers. And this is the Here stage is where another actually... custom power. There it is. Oh, God, I forgot about this. Mole it's Mario. the Monty Mole suit. If I jump and hit the, the attack button, I can go underground. I don't think I can do damage to people by jumping up, so don't do that. God. Oh. Oh. I don't think so, anyway. Don't stole the pink fruit! Don't stole the pink fruit! The mole is out ah. at the scene! Oh, never mind! Ah, well. I think you can use it to hit blocks that are stuck on the ground. Not, not like blocks like this, but regular blocks you see that are stuck oh. on the ground. Oh. But again, that's just an That's, that's why they're swinging sewers. That actually is another problem I do have with the game. I think the camera's a little too close to the screen. Yeah, not on, on more than one occasion, you're actually going to see it. I die because those things just come... Vroom, and they're like, oh, jeez. Like, oh! I had no time to prepare. Yeah, seriously. And I this is just me being an idiot. Whoops. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's try that again. Although that Keeping kind of does... This time. Although that does kind of go into like an overall complaint I do hear about this game. And going a little ways into it, I can kind of agree. Um, later on in the game, it does become noticeably difficult. Oh yeah, definitely. And in my opinion, the other big issue, for me anyway, that it was difficult was, uh, perspective. Yeah! At times I feel it doesn't, it wasn't quite designed well enough with this perspective in mind. The drop work, shadow is help- not, not this. The drop shadow is helpful, and the ability to, as you were seeing earlier, I can, like, tilt the camera. I guess yeah, you can't yeah, you can. But you, but you can use it to go through these, uh... Oh, I guess you do double damage when you do that attack. But yeah, you can also sneak underground like this. Nice. You don't see me. Eh, you don't see nothing. Anyway, but, um... The drop shadow is helpful, but... And as you're seeing, I can rotate the camera by tilting it left and right. Mm -hmm. But... Yeah, it is still very tricky to see around things. Like, it, like, it, oh boy. Oh, like, if the close. camera was maybe angled a little bit upwards, like in 3D World, so I could see better behind things, that would have been helpful, but... Ow. Super Mario 3D Land. I'm back. Oh, okay. there you were. I'm underground with Toronto plants in a shell. But, um, other than that, I'm still, like, whoever... Uh, was, did DJ Coco do all of this? Rats. Oh, I... oh, no! Huh. Like, see, right there, that was, like, come on. Yeah. I, was, to, I, I was about to say... like, no, that was there. I was about to say, as far as I know, I'm pretty sure they did. Okay, then, yeah. It, so, yeah, as you're hearing, yeah, this is... The custom music is fine. I mean, they used good music, which I, which I'm all good. I would rather... Be, I would, I'm all right with them using good official music than trying to make their own and it possibly failing. Which is... It's kind of funny thinking back on it, because Mario Fan Game Galaxy, for the longest time, encouraged that you just stick to using MIDI music or whatever, and it kind of made some fan games struggle as a result. But now they're a little more lenient with that, and I'll I'll give it credit. It does help uh, help uh, some of these fan games' cause. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, here's the, the paddle, oh, music. paddle music. Yep, now, that's... this is the basically the most OP power up in the game. Ooh. At least in terms of platforming. A little flower hat. Oh, yeah. The cl the cl and the, I lost it. The Cloud Mario, Aww. essentially. Mm. But yeah, it's, it's it's a nice little drifting mechanic that lets me, that makes platforming easy, but I guess I'll see how far I can go without it. Mm. Oh, it's these platforms again. <laughs> All these things from... And citing some, wonderful, and citing some wonderful memories there. I hate these platforms so much. Mm. But I do like the detail making them all so, uh, like, cardboard-esque. So I don't remember any other game that had this from Paper Mario uh, off the top of my head. Again, Sticker Star and Color Splash. Ah, yeah. okay. So they do bring those back. Well, those actually, I don't that... think they bring them back, but, um, they do... Like, if for a lot of things, they do use the uh, cardboard, um, um gimmick. Well, yeah, well, yeah I love... Yeah, yeah, I will I will give Color Splash that. I love that in that game, everything looks... That it's official. Like, it's finally... Everything looks like it's made of paper. Paper or some sort of... It's basic or some sort of... Um, crap, material for arts and crafts. crafts. Which is fine. I'm glad that... I'll give you credit that it's the first Paper Mario game to finally, like, commit to that. Yeah, oh, seriously. And not just make it be... Not just make Mario be the thing that's 2D. Oh. Uh -oh. I would say... No. I would say technically, um, Sticker Star did it first, but not to the degree that Color Splash did. No, but it was Ow. close. Like, Jeez. like for as much so as we rag on that game, I'll give it. Back. I'll give. Okay. okay. Like as much as we rag on Sticker Star, I'll give credit where it's due. Like visually and well, visually and sound wise, it is fucking gorgeous. 
It does look Especially like Especially for a 3DS game. If what you've been telling me um, in terms of color splash and stuff, you really do like uh, Huey and like the, the the writing of that game again. Oh fuck yeah! Like if 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 the battle mechanics were a little more traditional, I would say I would argue it's it's one of the best Paper Mario games out there. But it has that weird Sticker Star esque thing. But I should even say it's Sticker Star Squared because it's even more limited resources. Well, you say that, but they give you they give you a lot. They pretty much spoon feed you with all the attack stuff. So honestly. Fighting without them is almost non-existent. I am glad that the release is up. There's something to get from battling again, which is the ability to upgrade your uh, the colors, the color palette. Yeah, your paint. Files. Yeah, your paint hammer. Because if that was, because if that was, because if that wasn't there, it would be a, pretty much a textbook case of color splash again, where there was nothing to gain except for coins. You mean mm. sticker star? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, this is essentially the same game. And okay, I'm at that's actually creative. The whole fuck, the the, the, the thwomps are like a fucking box. Oh, yeah, yeah they're just boom, cardboard box. Except this is our first uh, lava stage. The, the ah! I, I think this is music straight from Galaxy. No, this is 3D World. This is 3D. I recognize oh, it. That's, that's 3D. World. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. This is like the tank stages. No, not the tank stages. These are the Bowser Castle stages. Really? Yeah. Okay. The, like, like the, like the, like the, like the, like the uh, castle in, in uh, World One. That's that's that was this is from. Okay. It was. I was sure. I was sure that the. I was sure that the castle was us firing out of a cannon to fight Bowser in his car. No, that, no, you're getting the mixed up. That was for the tanks. Ah, okay. Oh, again. no! Oh, no! Not the game! <clears throat> okay, let's try it again. And, like, that's the other thing you have to be careful is the platform is not too smooth. Like, you have to be very, like... I, I, would, almost re I would almost recommend using directional buttons if you could instead. Yeah, Mario in this game is pretty heavy. Hey, I liked how oh, the, uh, okay. check... I like how the checkpoints actually have actual check marks on the sign. That's pretty creative. Yeah. Yeah. That's and, so and, nice. and those doors are clearly totally from Yoshi's not Island. from Yoshi's Island. <laughs> Yoshi's Island. Yeah. Hopefully. You, you yeah. think you think you would have went the extra mile and made them and like applied a cardboard aesthetic to that too? Right. Yeah. Or at least how they look in yarn. I don't know. Yarn wool or something. Anyway, so uh, I'm gonna go in here with fire. I'm gonna go in here with this because fire flower doesn't really help me a whole lot. <laughs> It's King Thwomp. Oh, God. Thwomp. Are you serious, man? That's so outdated. Look at his face. Yeah. He's like stoned. Oh. <laughs> ha, I'm going to say sorry. right now, this boss is a little iffy. And, okay, because the hard part is, is that you have to, oh, there's a shockwave. Oh, jeez. The, uh -oh. the hard part is you have to have him stay above you and then move onto a platform right at the last second. But the issue is that those fire guys jump out right like in the very center of the platform so <clears throat> i yeah. was figuring out i was wondering how the heck you're supposed to do this because it's not like you can just time exactly when and just run out damn those and then i realized bubbles. because if you're off by even just a bit that like, he has to be all the way on the platform yep so i was like okay maybe if i wait now because uh, i was trying to see like maybe i have to wait until just about he's about to fall and then run over so i don't get burned by the fire in the process well does the fire have then a i thought the fire has a hitbox, and it's pretty bad. But then I realized, wait a minute. What if I just, uh... Oh, geez, no. Oh, I was way Cause off. Because I'm realizing maybe I don't have... Maybe if I'm just not in the center of the platform, it'll be okay. Like, right there. Right, there you go. And yeah, okay, so now all of a sudden this boss is ridiculously easy. I'm a doofus. Oh, <laughs> boy. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm probably gonna end the look after this, and... Hype's gone because of puppy troubles again. But yeah, he's got two to take care of. But yeah. they're cute! But with, but with that, that's the first uh, world of Pit Mario 3D World. He would, land, sorry. He would have given you a thumbs up, but he has no hands. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, you can already see, like, this is not a very long game. I think there's maybe only two to three worlds, if that, maybe four. Uh, if there's one on the far right, I can't see. Because over there, that's the final world, I'm assuming, up there anyway. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I don't think this game is terribly long. But, you know, for what it's worth, again, it's a free fan game. All this is free. Um, and, uh, yeah, I would just, I would definitely recommend giving it a look-see. If you want to, uh, make sure your computer is decent enough. Which, I mean, b b whatever Hype said, you know, take it with a grain of salt. His computer is not the best, but I do still appreciate uh, very much him introducing this game to me. How does it work on you? How does it fare on your computer, James? Damn smooth. And again, and as I, as I always say, if you want to play the game for yourself, there will be a link in the description below. Yep. 
Um, I recommend uh, controller input if you have anything to do that with. Just note nice. that. Just note that uh, the game won't 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 accept native jo- joypad controls. You got to set that shit up yourself. Yeah, yeah. I use um, I use um, input mapper with my controller. Right, and I use the thing that came with my um, Logitech controller. But anyway, right. I'm Jake the Extreme. I'm Lucky Jack Twenty, and I'm Jordan the Cat Eleven, and he was hyper voice acting. He was here too, <laughs> and um, see you next time. Bye-bye!